Hello everyone. So, it's been a couple weeks since I started doing these puzzle warm-ups and I want to see if we think it's had any impact on my game. So, let's check out my rating graph. Now this is all time. So, um, yeah, at the beginning you can pretty much ignore. There's just a lot of variability. If you play like one game, you can gain 100 points or lose 100 points. So I kind of settled out around this area in the 700s. And I was not completely new to chess. I think if I were completely new, I would have settled in like the 200 area. But, you know, I've played before, just not very seriously. I've never really studied chess before. But I have played it over the years from time to time. Um, this is this is kind of when I started playing more seriously. Like, I, pl I play pretty much every day and I watch videos about learning openings and things like that so I had really good progress right here all the way up until March and then I dropped quite a bit now let's uh, let's zoom in so if we look at the 30-day graph this was when I was at my low point so check this out I was up here somehow like close to 1200 1182 1181, look at that. And then I fell down to 1090. And then I've been recovering a bit. Now here is my puzzle period. And you can see it It definitely is not like a growth period. It kind of leveled off again. Um, so I'm going to say the puzzle warm-up is not helping me. That's kind of my conclusion from two weeks. I don't know, maybe that's not enough time. Um, but look, I had a lot more growth here before the puzzles than here after I started the puzzles. Not to say that they're hurting, but I, I feel like the puzzles I'm doing are maybe too hard. It's not really a warm-up. It's almost exhausting to do these high-level puzzles. And unfortunately, I don't think chess.com has a way to do easy puzzles. Uh, at least I don't know how to do it. You know, leave a comment if you know how to do that on chess.com. On Lee Chess, you can specify easiest, but even those are a little too hard. So another thing I wanted to look at real quick was this rating drop. I, and I kind of had an idea. I want to see if I've learned anything since then. So this is March 23rd to early April. So let me see if we can actually go look at those games. Let's see, how do we do this? Completed games. And, uh, okay, this only shows... Yeah, there's no way to go next. Recent daily live... What the heck? Why doesn't it have... Rapid... Uh, okay. So over here, there is a date. Let's see if we can just put in a date. Was it March 23rd? We'll do, we'll do a little before that. And then, yeah, like, I don't know, here roughly. And I probably only had rated game, and eh, it doesn't matter. Okay. There we go. Now we're seeing our historical games, even though it's still under recent. It's kind of funny. Anyway, um, so if we scroll down to the bottom, here's where I was doing fairly well. This is kind of near my peak. But look at all those losses. No, no, no. This is where I'm already starting to decline. So see, I'm down in the thousands here. Um, March 24th. Is that what I... I put on March 21st. Did I not have any games? Here, let's try March 18th. Okay, this cannot possibly be right. There's no way that I had no games before March 24th. Let's try March 1st. Search. It says my game's 128 and it ends at March 24th. What the heck? Maybe I need to shrink the end date? Now it's showing March 23rd. 
What is going on? Hold on, let's try this. Instead of newest, let's try oldest. Then we can see the beginning. March 1st, okay. So, wow, chess.com, come on guys. You need, to, you need to work on the website a little bit. Unless there's a better way of doing this that I don't know. I would like to be able to see my games from different historical periods. So let's start with March 23rd, because I think that's when I was... Yeah, look at that, 1173, 79, 84. And then I'm going to start to lose a bunch. And what I wanted to do real quick is see if we've learned anything. Like, let's check out this game. Let's see what we did here. So we're going along. Wait. This is, what What opening is this? Doesn't it say the opening somewhere? Scotch game, Scotch Gambit. Yeah, that's something I still kind of have trouble with. Okay, so. Castle, it seems decent. Now, I don't know why that was such a big blunder by my opponent. Let's see, what would I do here? I think I would, f wait, why not fork? Oh, that's what I did, okay, yeah. Let's fork those two pieces. He comes here. Uh, why didn't I take the bishop? Oh, because if I take the bishop, he takes my, my bishop. Okay, that was very clever. So now I've defended it. Whoa. Okay, yeah, I should not do that. I should not open up my king. Let's retry that. What I'm gonna do here is simply this. Okay, so that was much better. Um, so okay, I think I've, yeah, I definitely have learned not to open up my king when I'm castled here. Especially with the queen. I mean, that should be obvious. Uh, although, it's not like the queen can come here, or here, or here. So, it's probably not immediately dangerous. Oh, duh. He just took my rook. Or, took my pawn. And now, this is a blunder because he's going to jump here, isn't he? Yep. Oh, boy. Yeah. Okay, so I think I have learned. That was... Uh, I just missed... I don't know why I didn't take his bishop when I had the chance. I was too worried about this bishop, but that doubled my pawns, which was silly. Okay, let's look at another game real quick. What I'm trying to do, guys, is just see if I've learned since this slide. You know what I mean? Like, and what was the cause for the slide? Okay, so what's this? Okay, this is very normal. Ah, I used to do this move all the time, and it drops this pawn, and I bet that's what he's going to do, yep. And then I bring, the, see, I should bring this pawn up before I attack that bishop. And now, look at this. Yeah, he's got a, whoops, he's got a, what the heck, I thought I right-clicked. He's got a double attack on this pawn, he's going to fork me, so I'm just too slow with this attack on the knight. So yeah, I've learned that. I, I, I've i kind of stopped doing that. Like I always reinforce that pawn before I move my other knight. Um, so I just lost a lot of games in a row on the same day. Mar Look at all these games I played on March 24th. I lost one, two, three, four out of five games. Wow. Okay, and then if we keep going, look on the 26th. One, two, three, four, five. I lost five out of six games on the 26th. Let's take a look at one of those real quick. How about this one? This is... Let's take a quick look. So I'm playing white, and I have a feeling I, I'm starting to remember what happened during this time. This was when I was watching Eric Rosen's 
tricks and traps of the London system. And one thing that I always wanted to do, oh, and this is this like modern type or weird, it's not the modern, sorry, because he didn't move this pawn, he moved this pawn. So I was doing this C4 move all the time. Now what went wrong here? Oh my goodness, why did I take that knight? What was I thinking there? Take the knight. Oh, because then, wait, what? Why did I do that? Why did I take that knight, guys? Oh, <laughs> I thought I was winning a pawn. Okay, so that was just a one move blunder. So, okay, yeah, I don't know. This isn't this isn't going how I thought. I thought there would be some theme to why I was losing. Maybe the theme is I wasn't playing well. <laughs> Not. I thought what I was gonna say is there was a time when I was watching Eric Rosen's Tricks and Traps of the London System, and I kept trying to do this move where your opponent brings their knight out and you put your, your queen here to pin the knight, and then you bring your bishop and you get a good attack going, but it never seems to work out for me. I don't, it's like, I don't really know when that trap applies or something, you know? So I've kind of stopped doing it because it fails like 90% of the time for me. All right, well, that's enough of this. You know, that was a little bit of a warm up. That was really interesting. I, I feel warmed up seeing these blunders and finding moves from my real games. That's an interesting. Okay, let's start, guys. Play. But yeah, I'm, I'm done doing the hard puzzles as a warm-up. I'm not going to do that anymore. We did an experiment, and in my opinion, it did not work. Oh, boy. We're going with this modern. I think he's going to push this pawn. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> uh... Okay, guys, I don't know. What do I know, right? Hmm, what do I do here? I don't know what this opening is. Queen's Pawn opening D6. It doesn't even have a real name. So there's probably a way to punish these slow moves, but unfortunately, I don't know what that way is. Uh, all right, whatever. We're just gonna do normal London system development because, yeah, I don't, I don't have a, I don't have a concrete plan. Now, with Jo Jobava is not good here because this pawn is blocking. So one thing I've learned when you do this Jobava London, one of the key ideas is that you want to go here and do basically the fried liver, but on on this side of the board, right? And. I can't do that at all here. So, we could pin the knight, but he's just gonna kick me out, so let's not bother. I am gonna do the Jobava, because the other thing it does is, is it supports this pawn push. And with the opponent playing so slowly, that might actually be good. Okay, now I can go here and pin the knight. Is he gonna put a bishop here, or can I sneak? Ah, oh, darn. Um, okay, we're just going to continue. That pawn was being hit, but now we're safe. This is a, a very interesting opening. It's very slow. Um. Oh boy. Yeah, guys, I don't know what I'm doing, right? As usual, I'm facing a very strange opening and I'm kind of floundering, like, what do I do here? Well, let me just pause for a second and look at the board. So, what is his plan here? He's got both of his knights here, which means he might be pushing a pawn, 
He's also got his bishop, so he's got good control of this square. But so what? I'm not con I'm not even contesting that square. I wonder if I should push this pawn up or should I just castle and get out of the way? Okay, here's one thing. I'm going to I'm going to get my th this is an idea. Queen to here and we're going to trade this bishop. But that doesn't seem good. That doesn't seem good. Maybe I should push this pawn. If I push here and then I push here, take. No, he's got too much. I can't do that. I could push upon here because I've got that same control. I've got this, this, and this guarding that square. Um, I don't know. I'm going to castle. This is, I don't know what to do. So I'm going to fall back to chess principles. This is what I always say in my complete beginner chess lessons. You know, um, when you don't know what to do, don't just make stuff up or do like harebrained attack ideas like, oh, I'm going to put a pawn here even though I don't know why. Okay, fair enough. He's blocking in his own bishop, though, but he's just going to push that pawn soon, isn't he? And if I go back here, he's going to push this pawn. Oh, brother. Should I just come back to the normal one? Yeah, I'm just going to come back to the normal London position. <laughs> okay. We've got the normal London position, guys. Yep, I kind of sensed that was coming. But now this bishop is useless, right? Isn't that bishop useless? Now I can jump here and... Um, that's another normal London move. Jump in here. But really what you do in the London is you have your queen. See, if I hadn't done this dumb Jobava, which I realized I shouldn't maybe do, right? Because that whole idea was blocked. Then I could put my queen here and hit this weak pawn because I've got my bishop and queen lined up. Oh, man. Well, I can put my knight here and accomplish the same thing. That's something, right? Should we, again, is this a harebrained attack idea? Let's see. If I put my knight here and he jumps or he kicks me out. Oh, then I can bring my queen here and he can't kick me out. Right? Because if he takes, I take his rook. Um, I'm going to give this a try. I don't really know what I'm doing, guys, but I don't know what else to do, honestly. So let's just go for this. I'm hitting a weak pawn. What can I say? Oh, he can also kick me out with this pawn. No, but then I would give him a check. Okay, yeah, yep, 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 okay. Yeah, that was good. He's blocking my bishop rather than my knight. Oh, brother. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna... Well, I'll leave my knight there. I feel like I'm not doing well. I don't know what I'm doing here, guys. But, hey, we all know that. No need to state the obvious. Oh, bro. I'm, yeah, I'm just going to come back. It was a bad idea. I didn't think of this. I thought maybe he might kick me out with... Kick me out rather than block. I'm going to... Oh my gosh, this guy's 1,300. Okay, that's intimidating. This is me, the highest rated player... I've played in quite a while. I don't know what to do. I really don't. I'm going to start pushing pawns. What can I say? Like, I don't know what to do. So I've been watching another series called Building Habits with 
GM Amon Hamilton. And he says, when you don't know what to do, do a random pawn move. And I like that idea. I think it's a great idea. So we're going to attack on the queen side, guys. That's my grand old plan. Okay, interesting. So I'm not going to take with this pawn because that's blocking this guy and that blocks his bishop in. I can jump here now. That's that's something. If I let him push, he's going to kick out my bishop. Um, alrighty then. Yeah, I don't know what to do, guys. I'm getting crushed by this very slow, conservative opening. I'm just going to do... Oh, here we go. Let's put our rook here. That way... Oh, shoot. But I just said if he pushes, I have to move my bishop. I didn't want him to push. But, you know... That does completely lock this up, which is good, I think. So if he takes, I'm going to take with my rook. And if he pushes, okay, I'll back up because I don't <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with this opening. Okay. Drop back. It's my only move. I think I'm going to jump in here with my knight. And then I can jump here and hit his bishop, right? So let's do that. It's an idea, right? Okay, now if I go here and he takes my bishop, I take his bishop with a hit on his queen. Whereas if I take here, he is going to take, and that opens up his bishop here. Hold on, he's got one, two, three, I've got one, two. So if I take, he takes, I take, he takes. I take, he takes, he wins a piece. So he's overpowering. I'm getting completely outplayed, guys. That's what's happening here. Completely outplayed. Fair enough. I'm just going to drop back. And um, <laughs> that way, this pawn does get locked up. That's a good thing, I, in my opinion. That's blocking this bishop forever if he takes this i'm just going to take oh wait a minute if i take if he takes and i take with my knight i can jump here forking that might be good instead of pawn but if i take with my pawn then this guy is like done okay interesting not an issue. So if I jump here, he can go... Yeah, that's kind of a dead end for my knight. On the other hand, if I jump here, isn't that also a dead end for my knight? Now, let's also think of what else we can do. I could jump 
I could go here with my knight, hitting his rook, defended by my bishop. Then he takes, I take, and then he, then he takes my bishop. <laughs> okay, that doesn't work. Let's get out of here, but I do have a plan. We're going to jump... I can hit his rook and then his queen and rook if he moves it. Now he can take my bishop. Okay, hold on a second. If I put my bishop here, hitting his rook, then I can fork him. If he saves his... Oh, wait, no. Then he would take me with his knight. Oh, brother. So if, if I go... Let me think about this real quick. If I jump here, oh my gosh, what is my phone doing? Stupid game ad. I thought I had it silent. I hate notifications from games that make noises. That's super annoying. So let me think, guys. If I jump here and he takes my bishop, I take his rook, he takes my rook. <laughs> this does not work. What is happening here? If I go here, he's going to kick my bishop again. Well, I'm going to I'm going to save my bishop. What can I say? Ah, now we can do this plan. Go here, attacking the rook. And then we're going to go here attacking three pieces. So I think that was a blunder by my opponent cuz I wanted to move this knight anyway. Boom. Look at that. Which one of these should I take? Usually I would take the rook, but this bishop is a very powerful piece. I'm going to take the rook. I'm not going to be crazy here. Okay, now, if he attacks my... Hold on. I want to say if he pushes this pawn to attack this bishop, and I have my bishop here, I can just take his knight with a hit on another knight. Oh my... Yeah, okay. So, and then if he pushes this guy... I think I'll just take his knight and double up his pawns. Open up his king a bit. So yeah, let's go here. We're going to attack this knight now. This knight is useless. Look at these awful pawns, guys. Ah, oh, what should I do here? Hmm. Okay, he's guarding this knight. That means he wants to jump this knight somewhere. Maybe back to here to hit my bishop. Um, that's dangerous for me.
Can you believe not a single pawn has been taken in this game? I, I kind of feel like this pawn push, if I put a pawn right here, If he jumps here to attack this bishop, it's guarded by my queen anyway. The only difference is I don't double his pawns. I'm going to do this instead. Time to break up this awfulness, and that way my knight can get into the game. I hope. If he doesn't take, I'm going to take him with an attack on his knight, and then I've got another pawn I can take, too. So, <laughs> I think this is the end of this awful, awful pawn structure here. So, he wants to recapture with his rook. Well, that's interesting. But no, he can't. It's guarded by my knight as well. Yeah, I'm going to take that. I'll take that all day long. Okay, now his pawns are split. Oh, look at that. He's guarding this with his queen. I didn't even notice that. Um... I want to stop this guy from moving. I don't even want to take this pawn. That blocks his bishop. Yeah, what am I talking about? Why would I want to take that pawn? Um, I'd rather take this pawn. Right, guys? Now, if I push this pawn and he goes here to defend this pawn... Okay, if I bring my bishop back, hitting the pawn, he's going to just defend it. I take, he takes, and it's defended, and I can't get my knight out still. Hmm... Okay, I can, well, I was going to say put my bishop here and attack, but it's guarded. Oh, brother. If I push this pawn, he can push this pawn to defend. If I push this pawn, he can take. Oh, but then I take. Yeah, let's do this. That way this pawn cannot be defended. Good. 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 Now that pawn is a is a weakness, and now I can come back to hit it because he can't defend it. Right? Let's come back here and attack the weak pawn. Wow, guys, this is... Oh, no. He's got two defenders now. This is so complicated. Let's see. How do I get a third attacker? Or... Should I go after something else? Nope, that still doesn't make sense. It's guarded.
Should I kick this knight out? Oh no, my vacuum cleaner's starting. Hold on. It's a little too loud while I'm recording, so I, I paused it. Oh gosh, guys. Um, I need to get this knight out of the way. And he literally doesn't have a place to move. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go here. We're gonna get our knight here, then here, and we have a third attacker. <laughs> oh, wait, no, no, no. I'm gonna go here, then here, hitting the bishop. But then he'll just drop back. Hmm. This is a claustropho... Oh my god. Ugh. Well, I walked right into that one. After all that thinking, I have this huge blunder. Right at the end. Can you believe that, guys? Let's see if I was losing anyway. I mean, I was getting overwhelmed with space, that's for sure. That was very fast. My opponent saw that blunder instantly. Look at that. I was actually winning until that last move. Darn. Okay, so. Um, oh, man, that's so depressing. I was, I was doing so well. But hey, you know what? It's not depressing. It's actually really cool that he found that. And the guy was rated 1300. I mean, I was not expecting to win this game. Let's see. So we're doing okay in the opening. Okay, yep, that was a dumb idea because he just stops it right away. Apparently, he didn't stop it the right way. Uh, let's see what I should have done instead. Let me do a retry. Uh, yeah, I mean, I have no idea what to do here. How about we do our random pawn move? Nope, that's bad. This random pawn move. Nope, yep, I give up. Hint. Oh, so I should... Take this. Alright, eh, I don't know. That doesn't make sense to me, but whatever. So yeah, I'm playing really badly here. I just don't know what to do. There's my one good move of the game. Good, I took the right piece. I was thinking maybe I should take the bishop. But I I was like, why, why be fancy? There's my blunder. So let's retry this. I was winning by decent amount, almost two points. Uh... Oh, how about we just move here instead to make room for the knight? Look at that, excellent move. Oh man, I'm disappointed with myself for making that one move blunder. That's the thing I've been trying to avoid the most. But you know, you get mentally lazy. You just start being like, oh, I see a plan, I'm gonna do it without really thinking it through. Let's do another game. One game is not enough. Gonna do our London system open, and finally we get a normal response. Okay. Wow, I haven't seen that in a while. I have not seen that in a while, guys. So, I could do c4. Alright, let's do the normal London move, because that actually looks promising with c4 now. Or maybe I should have done this pawn first. Wait. Hmm. 
What happens if he jumps here? Darn! Oh my god! Guys, how am I so, um, <laughs> bad at this? I've played the London, like, 500 times or something, or I think 400. When I looked at my opening explorer the other day, I think it's been 400 times. Alright, let's get that guy out of here. What? Okay, well let's let's kick him out here real quick and then I'll take the knight so that I'm not falling for something nasty here. Hold on a second. If he just blocks with a pawn... I, I If I save my rook, then he's going to jump in here. If he blocks with a pawn and I take his knight, then he can jump here with his knight and take my other rook. What is happening? Okay. I'm thinking to go take this free pawn and hit his rook. Is that a terrible idea? Probably. I wonder if I shouldn't have attacked his queen. Well, no. I want to keep my knight here. Okay, now we'll give him a check. And then we shall... Should I take the pawn? Do I take the pawn, guys? That is the question. I'm going to take the pawn. I don't know. Why not? Okay, we'll just drop back to here. Seems like a safe enough square. Now we're gonna get our knight out and castle and take, wait a second. If I castle, he can escape. I'm just gonna go over here with my king. What do you think, guys? Should I take him with my king? Oh, uh, this is ugly. Oh, well, um... Oh, my gosh. Okay, so hold on. If I... 
defend by pushing the pawn. He's going to put his bishop right here. And I have to move out of the way, and then he can take my bishop. Is there anything else I can do? Um, well, I could, I could bring my knight out to here instead. That way, if he takes the pawn, yeah, he's got a pawn, but, uh, yeah, what can I do? Well, I can take this pawn. In fact, I can do that right now, guarded by my... Check this out, guys. Hold on. Am I messing up if I do that? If I go here, I'm forking, and he puts his queen here, I take the rook. He takes my queen, I take his queen. This works out. Let's try it. I don't know. What do I know, guys? Am I right? But I did win another pawn. Well, hold on now. Hold on now. If I take, he takes, I take, he either takes my bishop and then I take his rook, or he saves his rook and I save my bishop. Right? I think this wins a piece for me. Or let's try this. If I take his queen, he takes my queen. I take his bishop, he takes my bishop. Right? So I don't like that. I like this. We're going to go take with check. Take. And now I'm just up a piece. Yeah. Boy, this is a tactical game, a tactical slugfest. I need to come after this knight. Get him off the board. They, oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm actually kind of up two pieces because this knight has been out of the game and ostensibly dead, right? Like he should not be able to get out of this. Let's go after his, oh wait, I've got this bishop to take care of too. Okay. We're gonna go here. Guarded, the knights are guarding each other. Now I can go after the knight without dropping my bishop. Whew. Oh, well, that was silly. Can't I just... Okay, he wants to trade. That's fine.
Okay, hold on now. Oh, brother. Okay, let's do this. Let's go after the knight. Whoa, no. Then he could jump here. Okay. Oh my god, is his knight getting away? No way! No way. He took that pawn so his knight can get out, guys. No way. I cannot let that happen. How do I stop that? Okay, bishop to here. Let's do that. I do not want that knight getting out. Oh my god. Now, I'm willing to trade. If I go here... He takes... No, then he takes this. Oh my god, what is happening, guys? Okay, let's go here first. Oh my god. He's going to double up his rooks. All right. We're going to go here, threatening to back rank mate. Then we're going to go here, offering to trade rooks. I'm so bad at chess. Um, okay, let's hit that rook. I need to get that rook out of here, guys. Why am I so bad at chess? That is a serious question. <laughs> How do I take this stupid knight? Um, this, this guy has been bothering me this whole time. How about if I go here? And then attack with... Oh no, then he's going to double up his rooks. This guy is rated only a thousand. He's a hundred points lower than me, and he's absolutely crushing me in this endgame. What do I do, guys? You know what? Take the bishop. I don't care. Take the bishop, guys. Thank you. Finally. At least I have that stupid knight out of the way. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have two pieces for a rook, but I'm definitely losing this game. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you guys. I think I probably should... Do my best to make some trades. Like, but how do I make a trade here? If I go here, he's just going to push. Oh, but then I take. 
Okay, so let's go here, I guess. Oh, wait, now he's dump. This is just dumb. Yep, should have seen that coming. Can I, if I give him a check, he's forced to this square because my bishop is guarding. Um, but then there's no way I can exploit that, is there? And he's on a light square. He's never going to be bothered by my bishop. He's going to push this pawn, and my knight is going to be in trouble very soon. I wonder if I should go here and attack the rook. I'm gonna lose this game. Okay, I'm gonna just, I don't know. I'm gonna attack the rook. I don't know what else to do, guys. I guess I need to go after his pawns too, right? If I attack him here now... Is there anything there? Um, like, if I put my knight here... That doesn't do anything. If I put my bishop here... He can't go here, he can't go here... He can't go here. He can't go here. I don't know. I'm gonna... He's gonna go here. Att attacking my pawn. And I'm not gonna be able to do a thing about it. Okay, let's do this. We're gonna go here. I think I need to trade off one of these rooks. His double rooks are just... <gasps> Oh, and I just lost a bishop. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, four blunders. Oh, guys, I'm playing so badly today. What can I say? I'm sorry. I'm so Well, you know what? It might be entertaining for you. Look how I was winning. S plus, no way, plus 7.9? And then I threw it away? Wow. Okay, so... King move was very, very bad. <sighs> How about we get our knight into the game? Oh, wow, that's best. Okay, so that was bad. Here, I'm not even... It's completely drawn. I've already thrown away the game, which I kind of sensed. Um... What do I do here? Um, how about we offer to trade a rook? Because his double, his two rooks were just very powerful. Okay, that's not right. How about we attack? Okay, attack the rook. Sure, I don't know. I don't get it. Oh man, this is bad. Guys. So trading the bishop for the knight was not good. Um, let's try a different move. How about... 
We push this pawn, which lets my bishop in here. Okay, excellent move. And it's a draw. Oh, guys, I, I threw away this game. Why didn't it stop at this move? What was here? So this queen move was awful. Okay, let's try again. That lost some stuff, too. Look. So instead of that... How about we go... Hmm, where do I put my queen? Right here? No. Better, but not good. How about all the way back to here? No. Oh, it's a mystery. Um, scoot over one. Oh, pff, no. Uh, give me a hint. Just Actually, just show me. Oh, no. So this was a good move. That's the one thing that I did well in this game. Why was I winning so much here again? I forget. So that was bad. There's my first blunder. So how about here if we bring our knight in? That's a good move. That's a much, look at that, plus nine now. How about this? How about we take... Oh, that's good, because now he can't even come up here and attack my queen, my, my bishop takes. And he has to move his queen. That would have been nice to find. And let's try one more. Uh, how about we give a quick check? It's always good. That was obvious. Why didn't I didn't even look at the checks? Then he brings his bishop back. I take, right? And then if he takes with his queen, I win the rook. Oh man, the tactics are so obvious when you take a moment. Oh my gosh. Uh, guys, I'm going to stop for today. I'm I'm just playing quite badly with these one move blunders both games. So I'm going to stop for the day, even though I want to keep going until I win. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm just playing too badly. So guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment if you found my blunders before I did. Now, I found them pretty fast as soon as I made the move. But if you find them while I'm considering the move, leave a comment. Let me know. That means you are thinking about chess better than I am today, that's for sure. Anyway, I will see you next time. Bye.